For young people living in areas with poor or no public transport, a driver's licence is an essential path to opportunity. But many from disadvantaged backgrounds have no one to teach them, no access to a car, and lessons are out of reach. Humanaz is one step closer to transport freedom. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. With a few final tips, she's ready for her latest lesson. Left, 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 go now. Good. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Huma's on the road with a volunteer driver trainer, preparing for her provisional license exam and tackling her biggest issue behind the wheel. I lose the confidence. That's why it is a big problem for me. Otherwise, I know driving. I can drive. About 200 learner drivers are part of this program run by Uniting. Two-thirds get their P-plates on their first try, better than the New South Wales average. It went really well. Good, good. Did you get pass? Yes, I did. Well done. Thank good, you very good. much. If I was student get P, red P or green P, we always feel proud of ourselves that, yes, we actually did something. And driving is essential for young people in transit-poor outer suburbs for better access to employment and education. Definitely, it opens doors um, of multi, multi opportunities for them. For Huma, that will mean more job options and better pay. Without license, like, it is very difficult to get a job. Sometimes I get a good offer from different places, but because of license, I have problem. And for 17-year-old Ethan Jabor, that P-plate will make a big difference. I don't have to go up and tell my mom, OK, you drive me here, drive me there, and making a hassle. One thing the program needs is more volunteer driver trainers. To the people there, if you got a bit of time, come here and do it. No problems. Come here and do it. Helping new drivers master their skills and move on to a better life. Norman Hermont, ABC News.